guys, it is Techno Kid. Today, we are going to be checking out the $20 fake Apple Watch. So, before we get into that, thank you guys so much. Uh, I checked this morning. We are at, take a guess, 1.291 thousand subscribers. So, we're almost at 1.3K. So, thank you guys so much. We are so close to 1,300. I can't wait till that. Now, let's get right into the video. And if you guys want an intro, leave it in the comments because... I'm working on an intro, but I want you guys to tell me if you think I should have an intro. Alright, so let's get right into it. So you can pick these up for anywhere from $15 to $10, depending on if you get it from eBay or Amazon. Now this one I've had for a while, but it has no damage whatsoever. So these ship with a screen protector on, but trust me, it does not make a difference whatsoever. So one thing that this does better than the Apple Watch is has a camera, which is surprisingly cool. So as you guys can see, it's not, obviously not a good resolution. Let's blur out my stage light here. But you guys can probably see. It looks a lot better, but in high lighting conditions, it does pretty bad. So as you guys can see, my flashlight was on, and my flashlight's very dim, but it comes up as a lot brighter than it actually is. So you guys can take pictures with that, but of course, this has no internal storage just for the operating system. So why don't we take a peek in the back here, guys? So... The back is removable, which is kind of nice. Oh my gosh. My nail. There we go. So as you guys can see, you have this little battery. It is surprisingly only 380 milliamps. My drone battery is bigger than that. That's kind of weird, Um, but okay. So just a cheap Chinese battery. That's fine. So what is it? 3.7 volts. So it's just a standard cell. And then your back is plastic. It claims to be waterproof on all the ads, but as you guys can see, there is no rubber, rub, rubber seal. Neither is there on here. Cool, really part cool thing about these that the Apple Watch, uh, well, the Generation 3 does, but these ones, actually, you can put um, cellular in them, which is really nice. And pretty much all carriers support that. Now, let's see if we can get this battery back in. Okay, this might get tricky. The hardest part with this is honestly getting the charger flap out. And I will be right back when I get this on. You just had to align the pins, but it's in now, guys. So we can pop our cover back on. Gets on there nice and tight. Now, the bands feel kind of like an Apple Watch band, but they feel a lot fake rubberish. And, like, you know what I'm saying. Uh, the screen is a fingerprint magnet, but the screen is about 2.43 inches. It's kind of nice, but the biggest problem is the bezel size. The bezel size is honestly, it's like huge. That's, oh my god, the terrible, no, terrible boot sound also. So I actually was able to add all my contacts. So as you guys can see, it says connecting. Uh, it's connected to my device and I can click here. Okay. Oh, maybe this didn't work. No, it did not work. <laughs> so what it was supposed to do, uh, yeah, what it was supposed to do is actually save contacts, which it did for about five minutes. And then also the time resets every time you turn the device on and off, which really bugs me because you are working on the screen. Like, who are we kidding? So you can actually text people through this, which I think is a really cool uh, feature. It's not that um, logical, though, because... It's a microscopic display. So, as you guys can see, completely copying the home screen of the, the Apple one here. So, why don't we check out the camera one more time. As you guys can see, you have zoom features, which are not bad, but, like, what do you expect? And I think this is honestly a really good device for its price, but it's still got a lot of flaws. And the lock screen on this is pretty ugly menu so let's keep looking here you also have social media you have facebook you have twitter you have a lot of things and you have like the apple music which actually does work with an iphone but you need to put a sim card in here i wish you would be able to directly connect to wi-fi from the device onto your internet but it's 20 bucks so what do you guys expect exactly you have calculator so you can cheat in math right five times five definitely hard math 25 it's smart but like look at how small that is Oh, also, we're filming in 4K now. I hope. Should be. Tell me, if you guys, if you can get the quality on 4K here. Anyway, uh, what else? You also have this, which is a fake speedometer. Um, well, not speedometer. See how fast you're running. Literally, if you shake it, it registers seven steps. Now, I know if you do that to a Fitbit, it works, too. But that's 14 steps. I shook it only about five times. And if I do it, like, really lightly, 
it still registers. Uh, it should have some sort of program where it senses the length it travels. I, I honestly think it's just a tilt sensor in here. That's kind of a nice feature, I guess. And it stays running even when the device is not on. So, that's about it, you guys. You also have settings for languages. As you guys can see, this is running a pretty, pretty ugly UI. If you guys know how to download a UI, I'd love to uh, learn how. So, is this device worth it? Yes and no. If you're just looking to get a gift for a younger kid with a phone, for sure. If you're looking to get a smartwatch because you're working at a big business, absolutely not. This is not quite that good, but... I mean, honestly, I wear this every day, and I think it's very good. But it still has some major problems that cause even more problems. So, as I said, time resets, even not when you turn off the device, just sometimes it resets by itself. Uh, that's not a model problem that happens on all of these. So, this one has a camera, as I said, really nice. Now, this is what bugs me the most. Charger port. It's impossible to get open, but as you guys can see, there is the little, you gotta get your nail in there and you can pop the flap off. It's not hard, but you just have to get the right angle. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want me to review some more items, drop it in the comments. Thanks for watching. Help me hit 1.3K. Maybe we'll hit it by tomorrow morning. Maybe not. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you have a great day and bye.